Greetings, this is Bobby W6IWN. Today we're here to talk about the Baofeng BF17 side by side with the TID Radio TDH3. Some people have been talking some things about the Baofeng, so I thought we'd just compare them side by side and let you make the pick. Uh, Baofeng didn't send me this radio, I paid for it myself off Amazon. TID Radio did send me this, but for a video I did in the past, they did not ask me to do this video. Okay, let's take a look at the TID Radio H3 side by side with the Baofeng BF17. Um, unfortunately, on the 17, I can't figure out how to get the screen to stay on for the demonstration. So if I'm missing something and there's a way to do that, please post below in the comments. Anyways, this is the screen difference. I'll keep turning on the Baofeng so you can compare since I could not find an easy setting for the backlight. Uh, in my opinion, I like the H3 screen a little better. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, let's start with the H3 and roll it over here to this side. We got your, uh, your Kenwood jack under here for programming. You also have a USB-C you can program it with as well. Uh, on the bottom of the radio here, there's a USB-C charging on the battery. <clears throat> Let's look at the top here. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Uh, you have your flashlight, your volume, and uh, your SMA female for your antenna. On the side here, you have your top PTT and your bottom PTT. And the programmable button here, or it's your uh, flashlight. So there's the flashlight on this one. Note, the flashlight is extremely bright. <clears throat> okay, let's look at the bow thing. So on the side here, you have that same jack here. Okay, a little difficult to open. Okay, it's just the, uh, the Kenmore jack. Kenwood jack, excuse me. <clears throat> and then on the top, you also have your volume knob. Uh, I think that's your transmit light, the SMA female. On the side buttons here, you have your flashlight. Let's take a look at this flashlight. Okay, I don't feel like these two lights are as bright as the little one on this radio. You tell me. Whoops, it's on the top on this one. Let's do a side by side. If you're into radio flashlights. So there is two lights versus one. Anyways, let's now move on. All right, so you have your flashlight button, one PTT. And uh, this bottom button, I think it's programmable as well, but I think by default, it's your FM radio. You can do the same thing on the TID radio if you just hold the 8 key. Maybe you gotta hit menu first. Menu. And then you got your FM radio. So you can also program it to the side uh, as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, difference. The battery on this one screws in, it does not clip in. Uh, this battery just clips off. All right, I'm sure everybody wants to see the power test. So what I'll be using is this Surecom meter and, and it's connected to this SMA that I'll hook to the radios on the transmit side of the meter. Coming out the antenna side, I have this patch cord connected to this 50 watt dummy load. So let's test them both and uh, see how they're doing on wattage. Okay, let's do the Baofeng BF17 on high power on frequency 146.52, two meters. Let's confirm we're on the right settings. Okay, power high, frequency 146.52, and let's give it a shot. Like about three five, three five five watts there. Let's go to seventy centimeters. High power, confirming. Menu. High power. Looks like we got three point six watts on seventy centimeters. Okay, let's do the same test on the bow thing, but low power starting one four six dot five two. Let's confirm. Menu. Low power, as you can see there. Transmitting 2.65 watts. 
six, five, six, eight, bouncing up and down. Uh, let's do the same thing with 70 centimeters, confirming power, low, transmitting, 1.373534, it's about 1.4-ish. All right, let's do the same test on the TID Radio H3. And to be fair, I did charge both radios completely before performing these tests. So I'm just gonna press the top PTT, since you can see it's there, but as you can see, the H means high power. Or right here, let's confirm this way. Transmit high power. Confirm. Okay, go away. Pressing top PTT for 14652. Oh, I should probably turn this on as well. That would really help. Four, four watts. I think it's saw four, two, one, two, there, four. Bounce around four watts high power. Okay, let's go to 70 centimeters. All I need to do to transmit there is press this bottom PTT key. So here, let's confirm the power settings. See, it shows high. Menu. Power high. So I know I'm on high for sure. All right, let's press that bottom PTT to transmit down there. Four, five, five. There for a second on 70 centimeters, high power. Okay, let's do the same exact test, but on low power. Let's confirm we are on low power. Transmit low. Okay, I'm gonna do 14652, pressing top PTT key. 0.4 watts, low power, just standing right there. Okay, let's go to the bottom and confirm, 446, low power. Pressing the bottom PTT key to transmit on that channel. 0.8586 on 70 centimeters low power. All right, let's take a look on the specs on these things side by side. But first we got the bow thing. Uh, let's start off, a number of channels, 999. Comes with the NOAA radio program, FM radio. It's a tri-band, it will do 220, 70 centimeters, uh, and two meters. It says talk range 6.1 miles. I have a feeling I could break that, to be honest, from a summit. I really thought this thing had airband. So later on in the video, I might say, oh, they both have airband. And when I came here and sat down in front of my computer, I found out I'm completely wrong. The bow thing does not have airband. This does have airband received. Uh, what else can I talk about? Oh, it has an 1800 milliamp battery. All right. That's all I can really tell you about the bow fan, guys. You've been telling me it's so awesome, but let's take a look at the TID radio. Okay, so eight bands, including air band, it says. 50 to 76 megahertz. Okay, they need to update this right now because their website is wrong. They've done a firmware update, and you can go to 17 meters. I don't know why you'd want to do this on this HT only in FM right now. Hopefully they're going to change that. So you can receive uh, all the way down to 17 meters. Uh, you can get all the way. You can get 12, 10, everything there in between. 11 meter CB only in FM right now. I'm hoping uh, that TID radio will change that soon so you can get AM and listen to CB. But if you want to know more about the TID radio, I did a whole video on it. And there's like a whole bunch of details. If you want to see more, click on the, the link. But uh, from what they say is 76 to 108, there's your FM radio, 108 to 336 AM airband received. This has it. Sorry, the bow thing doesn't. Uh, two meters, 220, 350 to 400, 400 to 70, 470, transmit received. There's your 70 centimeters. So it has a lot of 470 to 600. Oh, there's a lot of receive on here. Um, Let's talk about the really cool features on this radio. So you can actually clone this radio. If you have two of them wirelessly, you can say, hey, I want this radio to have that radio program, and you can send it through the Bluetooth, which is really rad, yeah, Bluetooth. So this blue button here, if you hold this blue button, a Bluetooth icon, oh, it was already on. Let me turn it back on. Bluetooth icon, hopefully you can see that pops up. So you can program this radio from your phone 
Once again, if you want more details, go to the video and I'll show you how to do it. But yeah, there's an app from your phone. You can do it Bluetooth from your phone. Uh, also in the side, which I'll show when I do the comparison a little bit better, there's a USB-C under here. The chipped program is already built into the radio, so you don't need a special programming cable like you do with the other radios. You can just plug it right into your computer and go if you want to plug it in your computer and program it that way. Uh, Chirpworks, they have their own programming software. Uh, it has the dual PTT. It also has the NOAA weather, all that. One thing the Baofeng has that this doesn't, this only has 199 channels, which is fine with me. I don't use them all currently, but maybe someone does want more channels if they wanted to add stuff they wanted to scan. So, I don't know, that's fine with me. I can live without 999 channels, but if you need the 999 channels, Baofeng's got it for you. Uh, okay, let's scroll down here and let's see if there's any other, it's got the color screen. Ooh, a flashlight. The airband receive. The chip, we talked about the chip. So here's the app on the phone. Uh, it is called OD Master. If you want to hear about that, check out my other video. I'll talk all about it. But you can pull up the app on your phone and it will pull up the repeaters by you. You can program them right from that list into the radio. It's super cool, so check it out. Uh, looks like this one comes with a 2500 milliamp battery. All right, looks like I did miss one detail on the Baofeng that I'm not aware of the TID radio having. It looks like the Baofeng here is IP54, uh, water and dust proof. That would make sense why it has the screw on the back. To my knowledge, the TID radio doesn't have that. I could be wrong. If somebody knows better, please comment below. Okay, let's take a quick look what's in the boxes. First off, TID Radio did send me this radio for a different video a while back. They did not ask me to do this video. Baofeng did not send me this radio and will not reply to my emails. I purchased this off Amazon with my own money. So if you're listening, Baofeng, I'm waiting for that reply. Anyways, first off, with that being said, let's look into the Baofeng box and what it comes with. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> All right. Looks like there's like a talk good sort of a signal stick kind of type antenna. It's a lot fatter. It's, it's a little bent. Hopefully maybe once it's out of the box, it'll straighten back up. All right. Ooh. Shiny new Baofeng. These are way bigger and heavier than the original Baofeng. Ooh, I'll get into more details when I show it off in the demos. A battery. All right, note the battery requires to screw it on. A kind of taco manual. It's, uh, it's in English. If you want to check that out, you're going to have to do that on your own. I don't want to dive into the manual, sorry. Lanyard, USB-C. What is this antenna? I'm gonna imagine this is an airband antenna. FM 136 to 174 airband. Charging dock. Some earphones if you're into CIA stuff. A belt clip. Oh, and the nifty screwdriver to screw on the battery. All right, let's look in the, uh, the tid box, oh, okay. So yeah, I've already opened the radio and assembled it. Here's the radio itself. Obviously, you'll see more all about it in a comparison. I did already put on the belt clip and the battery. So let's see what else I think came in the box. It's been a while since I opened this. So yeah, a radio, an antenna. This antenna is for two meter and 70 centimeter. Um, Instruction manual, a card, tells you how to download their software for all their Bluetooth programming, their programming, uh, a manual, once again, not to get in that. A docking charger, a USB-C, a power block to charge it, and a lanyard. Woohoo, that's what's in the boxes. 